Okay, girls, let's get in the house. Okay, girls, get up. Come on, get up. Everybody up. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> okay, girls, you all ready to hit the road? Okay, let's do it. So we are at the uh, Karameas uh, Samilkameen Hot Pepper Festival where they uh, celebrate the harvest of the hot peppers and uh, I'm going to try and show you around but they're playing a bunch of music here so uh, I might have to turn the sound off at some point uh, just so I don't get music copyright claims so I will be uh, just uh, giving you a tour around so let's go do that right now. This is basically the beer garden with wine and stuff, wine and ciders. So Milkamine, independent wine growers, tasting and sampling. Let's go in and look around. Well, we're in the beer gardens right now, but it's more than that. It's uh, they have gins, different types of gins and stuff. And they have wines and uh, ciders and all sorts of things here. It's just an amazing selection of products. Merlot, that's my favorite flavor for wine. But no alcohol for me. These are all really good wines, local wines. The yeah, wineries here. Vanessa, that's out in Costin. I've seen that before. Very nice, very nice uh, wine varietals. Cab Sold, another favorite of mine. That's good, it's a favorite of mine too. There are so many things here to try and sample, but not for me. But they look absolutely delicious. Absolutely. Oh boy, let's keep going. Wow, there's so many varietals and things, and wineries. Otega, another local one. She has so much to sample and taste. Oh my god, oh my god. Last chance, beverage company. This guy's hot. He's got a gorgeous hat. Love it. Last Chance Beverage Company. Uh oh, here comes the music again. We might have to cut this out. Love your kilt. Thank you. Thank you. So many, so many, so many. Oh my God. Untangle craft cider. Black plum basil. Oh my god, that would be so good. 
That would be so delicious. Look at these. Black plum basil crimson star. Oh my god, this would be fantastic. Just so much here, just so so very much. And now we're back at the gym again. <laughs> fabulous, just fabulous, yeah. Look at the size of this place. Fantastic, eh? Oh wow, we got through that mostly with no music. <laughs> we came across a little friend in here. Yeah. Look at this one. Look at this guy. Awesome. Isn't he cute? Isn't he cute? Yeah. Beautiful birdie. Beautiful birdie, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> And here we have a teddy bear's picnic. <laughs> oh, that's cute, that's cute. A little tea party. A little tea party for the kids. And of course they have to have a bouncy castle, right? Am I right? So the music is off right now, so uh, we can keep the sound on, but look at these treats here. Oh my gosh. Oh, butter tarts, one of my favorites. Shortbread, I love shortbread. Oh my god, these are fantastic treats. A huge array of them. Huge. That is crazy. And everything's selling really well. Everybody's loving it. I'm going to come back for shortbread. Here we have pheasant acres. And they got a bunch of produce from the gardens and stuff like that. And some knickknacks, uh, homemade items. These slippers look pretty cool. I believe they're all homemade, handmade. I believe so, yeah. All sorts of things. Oh, look at it. Sheepskin insoles, yeah. And little kids' slippers. <laughs> all handmade. Cool, eh? And nice garlic wreaths. I've got to get one of those. Got to get one of those. This one here is one that I've found really fascinating. It's rescued fruit. They take all of the blemished fruit, the stuff that, you know, won't sell in the stores kind of thing, and they take it, and instead of uh, pressing it in a juice like I've showed you in the past, or told you about it or something, he makes it into uh, excellent barbecue sauces and things. I definitely got to try out some of these sauces. Oh my god. Habanero sauce, plum jerk, cherry chipotle. Oh my god, that sounds so good. You got to check those out. So here we have homemade pierogies. Look at all the flavors. Look at them all. Cottage cheese. I love cottage cheese. And bacon. Bacon cheddar. Oh my god, look at these. Man. Beet borscht. <laughs> Mm, awesome, awesome. And here we have freeze-dried fruit and candies. Like, they got freeze-dried ice cream bites and stuff like that. Caramel M&Ms, freeze-dried. Freeze-dried strawberries, and these bananas are absolutely delicious. Freeze-dried bananas, are, I tried some and they're fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Oh my God, this is great. Fantastic. And this is some uh, home home done uh, organic teas here. Really nice. Hibiscus tea. Oh, one of my favorite. Hibiscus. Yeah, I might have to check these out. These are cool. More tea. I love I love my teas. Yeah. But here's an interesting product here. I've already got one. One of my subscribers sent me one. This is what you take and put your hot bowls in. Let's say you got a hot bowl of soup or stew or something, and then you just put the bowl in there and you can put it on your lap or something like this. And uh, 
You don't feel a thing. No heat. It's great. I love using mine. I use it all the time. Fantastic. So here we have a selection of all these beautiful hot peppers. There's cayenne pepper there. There's habaneros there. This one's one I've never heard of. It's called white lightning. Ooh, it sounds delicious and hot. And then uh, these are uh, jalapenos and that. And then they have uh, hot pepper relishes here. Locally made, handmade. Excellent, eh? And here we have some handcrafted scented candles. Mm. Love scented candles there. Freshen up the room. Body butters here. Flavors of body butter. Mm. Interesting stuff here. Oh, they have uh, handmade scented soaps. Soap and salt. An interesting combination. Mm. Interesting. This is a uh, locally handmade hot sauce stand. Or hot sauces. They have... Uh, uh, an award for one of their hot sauces. Now they have that's hot, hard, 911. I like this one, stupid hot, dirty hot, and honey and garlic. And then of course they also have a ton of uh, these meat rubs here, all different flavors of meat rubs, all locally made. Fantastic! Oh, these are great. I'm gonna, oops, sorry. I'm gonna enjoy uh, some of these hot sauces here. Here's another interesting stand here. They got all their own hot sauces here. A whole variety of hot sauces, but they also have plums and tomatoes and all sorts of different products. And they have pickled items. They have jams and fruit, uh, fruit products and also pickles of different kinds, pickled garlic and everything. Oh, pickled uh, asparagus and that. One of my favorites. Oh, so much here to see and sample and do. Just fantastic. This is one of the coolest uh, wine racks I've ever seen. Really nice. If I still drank wine, I'd definitely get one. But they have all sorts of really cool products. Wow. Cutting boards and bowls and platters and things. Absolutely wonderful. And here we're getting ready for Halloween. <laughs> this is the autumn, autumn harvest after all. And here we have a whole bunch of homemade gnomes. Isn't that cool? Just fantastic. More cutting boards. More cutting boards and cheese boards. Look at that. I don't do cheese much anymore either, but I would love that board. Fantastic. A bunch of different knickknacks here. This is uh, Silver Sage Studio. All sorts of really cool stuff here. Wow, fantastic. Gotta love this place down here. So many things to see and, and purchase if you want to. I love this uh, dream catcher here. It's beautiful. Nice and white and feathers. Two of my favorite things, white and feathers. <laughs> but uh, handmade jewelry locally. All sorts of knickknacks, art and everything. Oh, that's one of my favorite things there. <laughs> yeah, Those are beautiful photos of well, right up and close on the buds. Like so oh, those are your, paintings. Oh, they're paintings. Oh. Uh, but the prints of them. But they look like photographs. Wow, they're so good. They're so realistic. It's amazing. I love them anyway. <laughs> beautiful. Just fantastic. What is it? Here's another local hot hot pepper sauce producer here, and their flavors are incredible. Smoke and cherry hot sauce, apricot hot sauce. Um, there's so many flavors here. Burning hot, burning hot. Wow, they look good. We can sample them all too. I'm gonna try some here in a second here, but hot sauces everywhere, hot peppers everywhere. They're really celebrating the hot pepper festival. <laughs> this is fantastic. So I've just been down the first row on the other side around the corner here. And now there's a row up in here. Like there's so much to see here. Just it's incredible. I'm not gonna get to every single booth here. I'm gonna hit the, the nice ones with the hot peppers and stuff like that. But there's so much to see here. Like there's pickles and jams and clothing and, and soaps and candles and just about anything you can imagine here. So much to see and do here. 
This is fantastic. I'm glad I kind of came to the park and run the girls around the grass. <laughs> this is great. All right. Brutal condiments. Free samples. This stuff is amazing. Amazing. Barbecue sauce, mustard, relish, pepper sauce, miso sauce. Salsa matcha. That's one of my favorites. Salsa matcha. And it's not matcha tea. It's... It uh, just means hot, it's very hot. <laughs> Cranberry sauce, chili oil, and seasonings. Look at these things, these are fantastic. I gotta do this before the music actually stops, starts. And he has all these other uh, dips and things like that. Fantastic. Green diesel, smoked chickpea, all sorts of stuff. Fantastic, fantastic. Now let's sample some of the stuff. <laughs> And this is death sauce. You taste this and it will unalive you. Here's another hot pepper stand here. Locally grown hot peppers. Yep. Look at them all. And they got their own sauces here. These are really good. But my favorite here that I've seen so far, tandoor. Tandoor hot sauce. I love East Indian food and I love tandoor. So that's going to be fantastic. And they have seasonings as well that's cool yeah this is just a great place amazing with everything here they got it's fantastic there's some homemade preserves pickles look at these pickled carrots i love pickled carrots pickled beans i love those things there's cukes of different kinds hot banana peppers jalapeno oh my gosh and relishes beautiful relishes pickled garlic Oh, so much here, and cauliflower. I love pickled cauliflower. And you know the ones you buy in the store, they give you one piece of cauliflower in there? This one's full of nothing but cauliflower. Oh, I gotta try that out for sure. Awesome, awesome. Oh, cowboy candy. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful. And these here are all candied nuts. Awesome, just so many, look at these. Candied nuts of all sorts of flavors and everything. And they even have their own sauces and dressings and dipping sauces. Maple almond sriracha. Balsamic raspberry almond. Oh, I would love that. Really great, really great. There's so much here. And this is a handmade sriracha. Sriracha hot sauce. Handmade, look at these. Picante hot sauce, that's a chili garlic. Habanero. Clean mango. Cilantro lime. Beets, tequila. And jalapeno ginger. Yeah, that is fantastic. They have two different mango sauces in it. I think, which one is it? Again, this one here. Oh, yeah. Fantastic, I believe. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So many hot sauces and everything. All local. All locally handmade. We have habanero pepper. And Carolina Reaper. The hottest in the world, 2022. And a Bohemian Beast Peach. Interesting. <laughs> and Thai varieties. Ring of Fire or Bird's Eye. <laughs> Ring of Fire. <laughs> they even have Piñata para las niñas y los niños. And I had to add my own music. Here's one I really like, Magic Meat Dust, made in Penticton. So these are all 
beautifully uh, um, meat rubs. Different styles, there's Greek, savory, taco, Cajun, devil's dust, oh my gosh. Uh, Hellfire, the wild game, smoky sweet magic. Wow, they got everything, all sorts of different meat dusts. <laughs> Fantastic, just another beautiful, beautiful uh, display here. Oh, I'm definitely gonna try some uh, meat dust. Get some uh, meat rubs here. Here's Farmhouse Delights. Look at all these uh, preserves and pickles and things. Pickled banana peppers. Wow, those would be really good. But they've got pickled garlic and all sorts of stuff. Cowboy candy. Wow, that sounds good. <laughs> oh, I'd love to try some of that for sure. And look, Rock Creek and Boundary Fair, they won first prize. Cowboy candy. Wow, just fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> a hot pepper and a mild pepper. So there we go, the Hot Pepper Harvest Festival. I know there's a lot of booths I didn't cover. I wanted to get most of the hot pepper ones and all the uh, spices and flavorings and stuff like that. But there's so much here to see. It's, it's just amazing the amount of stuff here. So many people too. And uh, this apparently, like I said, I think earlier, this is the only hot pepper festival in all of Canada. And it's just, just amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, it's great. They're kind of winding down here. I've been here pretty much all day now and just trying to film as much as I could and get in it, everything in I could between the music. <laughs> but this is fantastic. I hope you enjoyed. Um, we're going to go back to the little house now because the girls are waiting for me. And uh, yeah, like I say, I hope you enjoyed and uh, hope you see something you like. And if you're local, Come down and check out some of these shops because you can always find them somewhere in the Soyuz, or, uh, Karameas, Penticton, uh, Headley, all these different places all around here. Just fantastic, eh? Here, get my face out of this. <laughs> yeah. Just amazingly huge, eh? Fantastic. All right. <laughs> There's our tiny little house over there. There we go. <laughs> well, I'm sure hope you enjoyed the uh, Hot Pepper Harvest Festival. I sure did a lot. It was really good. I thoroughly enjoyed that one. But uh, I got a lot of cool stuff. Let me show you what I got here. So here I got these here. I'll start right here. This is um, salsa matcha. It's kind of matcha apparently means really hot or very hot or something. <laughs> Um, not like matcha tea, spelled differently too. Anyway, this is was really tasty and everything. It's almost like a, a green salsa. It's it's really good, very good. And uh, then I got this um, other stuff here, Shiracha revolver. Yeah, this one here is um, it's a habanero mango, and I love my mangoes. And that is that's just amazing stuff. Tastes really good. Jalapeno ginger, and I absolutely love ginger in that. But these are fantastic. I've tasted all of these. They taste amazing. They're all handcrafted, homemade kind of thing. Not store-bought, not a bunch of junk in them. And they're very, very masterfully crafted. They are so fantastic. This here is just mind-blowing for me. Spiced plum. Yeah, it's called, they say it's spiced plum ketchup, but it's not ketchup. It has no tomato in it, so it's, it's nothing like ketchup. I think they should change the name on it and call it something else, like chutney or something like that. But this stuff is amazing. I love my chutneys. I've always loved chutneys. And this is what it really tastes like, is a truly homemade um, uh, heritage kind of chutney. That you would get in the way back so to speak but this is amazingly delicious and i'm gonna love it and i'm gonna suggest to him that he calls it a chutney or anything but ketchup because like i say no tomatoes in it whatsoever and it's not a ketchup as you would think of a ketchup you know but it's got the consistency i guess but anyway um these things i think are just magnificent magnificent cauliflower pickled cauliflower oh my gosh I remember those uh, 
jars you get in the store and that and there's a bunch of mixed pickles in there and uh you know they had one or two uh two at the maximum cauliflowers in the mixed pickles and that's the only thing people really liked out of them uh, you know i stopped buying them because it was like i want to eat the cauliflower and throw the rest away but i always thought from you know since i was a teenager someone should make nothing but pickled uh cauliflower and there we go and this is going to be amazing i haven't sampled that they didn't really have any samples out there of this stuff because it's all canned but uh, i know i'm just gonna thoroughly enjoy that because pickled cauliflower is amazing yeah well, that turned out to be a pretty long day. That was pretty long and awesome and everything like that. Um, but I guess we'll just uh, leave you on that note. And uh, why don't you just watch my girls frolic for a minute. Ciao.